So this video isn't going to teach you how to take map control. It's going to teach you how to be better at taking the map control you're assigned to take. Now, what does it mean to be a map control player? It means you and your buddies, you made a five sack team, you have an IGL, and your IGL tells you you're going to be the banana player or you're going to be my apps player. And then you are assigned to take that map control and go to that site every round the IGL doesn't call something and then wait until the IGL makes a call, right? Now, the first time I'm going to offer is you need to learn how to play linear CS and utilize checkpoints in your map control. Uh, linear CS just simply means taking map control in a step-by-step -step fashion where you clear one angle at a time. You never expose yourself to two angles uh, all at once. This will just improve your success rate when you're taking map control. And checkpoint CS simply breaks down map control into smaller sections, which are being basically guarded by checkpoints. Uh, so a checkpoint is a safe spot on the map where you can pause and have lots of options for map control, and you're still quite safe. So for example, this right here is not a checkpoint because if the CT throw a flash, you're just gonna get blinded and there's nothing much to do. Whereas this angle right here is a much stronger checkpoint because if there is a flash, you have a fallback option. So just utilizing those two fundamentals, and of course they are a shameless self-plug because I have videos on them, uh, is one simple tip you can add in. The second is learn to utilize different timings in your default, right? So let's say your default when you take banana is you're going to throw a Molotov for car, right? And usually you just come here at broom. Well, what might happen is the CTs might push with an op, they might HE you, and you start taking that damage. So in that case, it might make sense that if you have a bad spawn or you just want to play slow, you do the same thing, but now you just play passive and you hold for a push. Or, on the other hand, if you have a great spawn, you might throw a Molotov, but then actually rush and peek behind that Molotov, and this could be particularly useful if the CTs are lining up later utility. So, you can only have those options if you learn the different timings that are available to you in your default, and actually utilize them to counter what the CTs might be doing. Uh, the third tip I'm going to offer is learn different util combos in taking your map control. So, for example, if you always use a Molotov when you're taking early banana control, well, some rounds it might be nice to mix it up and instead use a smoke, right? If you're always using a Molotov to clear yellow right there, well, some rounds it might be better to nade stack it. And some rounds it might actually be useful to hold onto all your util and contact clear uh, a certain part of the map. Now this just comes down to your read of how the CTs might be playing and how you want to counter that. But unless you actually practice how you would take that map control with different bits of util, you won't actually be able to utilize your utility in a proactive sense and mix it up in the game. So for example, if you always use a uh, utility to clear a uh, car, uh, the CTs at some point in the half might just decide let's give up car control and then play CT and then play coffins. Well, if you actually know how to hold on to your HEs when you're taking that map control, you can punish that because you can just HE uh, CT or you can HE uh, coffins. But to do that, you actually need to know how to use uh, other bits of util to take that map control, okay? The fourth is to have a plan on what to do if the CTs are holding util uh, back. So what might happen is that you make it all the way to car and then you're just waiting like, hey, I'm baiting, I'm jiggling right here, dump your smoke, okay? So I can tell my IGL minus one smoke on B. Uh, but the CTs just don't do it, right? And then when your IGL decide, decides that you're going to group up and hit B, as you do the exec, a smoke comes in your face and you get wrecked. So if the CTs are not respecting your map control, right, you need to have ways in which you can punish that. So that might mean you take an aggro peek like this, or maybe you start taking map control. Maybe you're going to contact peek them and start like testing and probing the site. Or maybe that means you're going to tell your IGL, hey, they hold their util, so we should punish this with a flash pop. So just understand that it's, it's on you to communicate and then find ways in which you can counter CTs who are playing passive with their util. Uh, the last tip is going to be on your positioning when you're doing late site takes. Uh, this particularly applies if your team is hitting the other side than the one you take map control on. So let's say you're a banana player uh, and you're in banana and your IGL says we're going to take A. One of the first mistakes I see lower level players do is they all decide we're going to give up B, we're going to all group up A and take a, you know, the site as a five man unit. You don't need to do that, okay? If your team can't take a site as a four man unit, it's the site takes fault, not the fifth guy's fault, okay? Uh, so it might be much more useful for you to position yourself in a place where maybe you can hear the rotations as your teammates are executing. Or maybe you can hold on to the map control from an angle like this, where if your teammates decide to cancel and go back to banana, you still have banana control. But at the same time, if your teammates go A, you're close enough to rotate to them. So just understand your positioning does not need to be with your teammates as a pack. When your teammates are hitting the other side, it's okay to be further apart from them, to lurk or to cover the flank, and be comfortable and learn how to do that.